Hello friends, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel if you're enjoying the instruction that I'm giving you. So today we're going to be talking about the skills learned in Allegretto. So for me, there's really three skills that are being learned in Allegretto. So the first one is that this is the first piece that is mostly played on the D string. Now it's not the first time we've seen the D string. Where was that, do you remember? back in long, long ago, but the majority of this piece is on the D string, so I would say that is a new skill that is being learned. A good way to prepare for this is by um, practicing twinkle, but instead of starting on the A string, you can start on the D string. Perpetual motion is another good one to practice this with. Instead of starting on the A string, you start on the D string. Everything else is exactly the same. So before attempting to play Allegretto, I would try to play twinkle and perpetual motion, both starting on the D string. Remember, if you're playing on the D string and you're hearing A string, your elbow is too low. If you're hearing G string, your elbow is too high. The second skill um, being learned in Allegretto kind of goes along with that. This is the first time ever that we play on the G string. So again, we can practice twinkle and perpetual motion now starting on the G string. When playing on the G string, I think it's important that our elbow isn't too high we don't have to be like this, right? This is probably a good, um, a good height. And finally, the third skill being learned in Allegretto is that this is the first piece where the student has to cue. So we have, we have two pickup notes at the very beginning of a piece and the student is all alone. So they have to cue the piano in. A good way to think about cueing is it's just a sniff. It's just like you have a runny nose and then your violin moves with you. So that's it. Those are the three skills being learned in Allegretto. This is the first piece that we are primarily playing on the D string. This is the very first piece that we're playing on the G string. And this is the first piece that the student has to cue. If you're looking for a more in-depth um, description of the piece, including all the notes and how to play it in the bow division, definitely go check out my How to Play Allegretto video. It's linked down below. Again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.